I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I'm just trying to give you guys advice to, you know, get through high school alive and to get through high school and actually graduate. You know, just trying to help you. Hey guys, it's Trent and welcome to my channel. My last video was a high school advice video for freshmen. That video was directed towards freshmen, obviously, and just like high school expectations for them and a little bit of advice. Some of you guys wanted me to elaborate on some of the things that I talked about. You want me to go into more detail about when I mentioned friends and other stuff like that. So this video is gonna be the honest truth about high school. And it's just gonna be another advice video, except it's not directed towards only freshmen, it's directed towards everybody in high school. So yeah, let's get into this. The first thing that I wanna talk about is friendships. You're gonna come across some fake people in your life. You might have already came across them in middle school or even back in elementary school, but I don't know how that really would work because back when I was in elementary school, the only drama I was in was who had to fight to get that last swing. Here's how I feel about fake friends, okay? They don't matter at all. Yes, in the moment when they seem like they're trustworthy and a good friend, yeah, you care about them. Yeah, they matter. But when they show their true colors, it's like the image or painting that you had of them has to be completely redrawn or, or repainted because they showed their true colors. So you need to quit treating them like how you thought they were and treat them how they actually are. So you can't hold on to who they used to be and the memories that you two used to share. You have to focus on who they are now and what they did to you that made them fake. You can't hold on because sometimes holding on hurts more than letting go. You gotta do what's best for you and if dropping that fake friend, even if you guys have been friends since you were like little babies like straight out of the womb, if dropping that friend is what's best for you, then you have to do it. It's easier said than done, but trust me, if you can let go of those fake friends and only focus on the people that you know you can trust or who you think you can trust at least and who haven't shown the true colors yet, then focus on them until those people do something to prove you otherwise or to prove to you that they're not trustworthy. So focus on the people who haven't messed up yet and let go of the people who completely screwed up. I'm a firm believer of second chances, but not for the same mistake. You can forgive somebody if they mess up. That's fine, forgiveness is great. But if this person keeps on messing up or keeps doing the same thing over and over again, and if that person is nothing but drama and causes issues in your life and distracts you, don't worry about them. You don't have to be friends with them again to forgive them. Learn to let go and move on, but you don't have to move on with them in your life. That goes with relationships too. If they're just a bad person and if they keep doing bad things to you, then why spend your time with them? I know you might love them and I know what that's like, but years down the road, you're gonna wish that you would've moved on sooner if you hadn't. In the moment, it really sucks because you're so in love with them or you're, or you're so into them. Whatever the case may be, it's gonna be hard to leave them in the moment, but in the future, you'll look back and you either regret that you didn't leave or you'll be happy that you did. The next thing that I wanna talk about and that I think is very important is peer pressure. This goes a little bit into having those fake friends or like those friends that are bad for you. Same with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't let anybody from your school or anybody for that matter peer pressure you and do anything that you're not comfortable with doing. Peer pressure can be a good and bad thing. A good example of peer pressure is if your friends push you to try out for the football team, for the tennis team, for cheerleading, things like that. That's good peer pressure because they're trying to get you to do things that's gonna better you and that you may like. If you don't like it, you can always drop it. So that's the good kind of peer pressure where they're trying to push you to do good things that's gonna benefit you. The bad kind of peer pressure is the obvious kinds. The friends that try to persuade you into doing things you don't wanna do, such as drugs, skipping class, things of that nature. Bad peer pressure is obviously bad. You don't wanna get into drugs because, uh, okay. Here's the thing when it comes to drugs, okay? And I'm not even sure if I'm even able to talk about this on YouTube, but I'm going to anyways, because somebody has to do it. There's this whole stigma that it's a cool thing to try at least once. And people have this mindset, like, if you try at least once, then you won't get addicted. Okay, listen, it takes one time to get addicted. It takes one time to smoke a cigarette and get lung cancer. It just takes one time. You're playing Russian roulette. And ask yourself if it's really worth it in the long run to look cool now, but ruin your life later. I mean, if that's what you want to do, then you're going to do it regardless. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I'm just trying to give you guys advice to, you know, get through high school alive and to get through high school and actually graduate. You know, just trying to help you. All in all though, it's up to you to decide what decision you feel is best. I just don't understand it because everybody knows that drugs are bad, yet they still do them. Because as I said, it takes one time to get addicted. When you get addicted, it's like a downhill spiral until you get help. I don't understand why people try it one time. I don't know. Note to yourself, they did it one time because of peer pressure. Are you stupid? You're literally just talking about it. I'm a victim of peer pressure. I'm not gonna act like I haven't been before. I have been, but I'm just saying, don't get too far into it to where it's too late to get help. I mean, it's never too late, but don't get too deep into it to where it's really affecting your life in a really negative way. 
stop it before it gets to that point. If you're with a group of people who are trying to get you to do things that you're not comfortable with or that you don't want to do, I just spit everywhere. Then don't do it. Just say no. Looking cool is not worth the outcomes and the repercussions that can happen out of your choices. It's just not worth it because those people aren't going to go anywhere in life and they're not stopping you from doing great things. But if you let them stop you, then you're gonna be right there with them. Also, don't let anybody peer pressure you into doing physical things that you don't wanna do. Because if they do, then that is rape, and that's not okay. So don't be a victim, and don't get caught up in stuff like that. Don't be scared to say no, and don't be scared to get help. Speaking of getting help, this is one last thing that I feel like I should talk about, and that is bullying. Bullying still goes on in high school. Whether that's online or in person, bullying happens. And I mentioned that a little bit near the end of my last video, but I feel like that's such uh, an important topic to talk about. So I'm gonna talk about it. People usually bully you for one of two reasons, or sometimes both of these reasons. Because they're either jealous of you or that they feel so bad about themselves that they need to try to bring you down so that way they are above you and so that way they can feel better about themselves. That or they're just really rude and childish people who just for some reason love seeing people get upset. Those are some sick people if you ask me. Don't be a victim and don't be a bystander. If you're being bullied, either stand up for yourself or go get help. When I say stand up for yourself, I don't mean to bully them back. Because fighting fire with fire is just going to create a bigger fire. So you can retaliate with water and put out that fire altogether. That was a really great analogy. There's ways that you can defend yourself without turning yourself into them. Don't be scared to get help. It's not a bad thing to get help if you're being bullied. Don't be scared that if you get help, they're going to bully you more. I mean, if they do, then so be it, but at least you're getting help. You don't even need to find a huge support group that will help you. You just need to find that one person that you trust and that you can go to who will listen to you and help you. You just need that one person. So don't just ignore it and hope it will go away. Get help if you need it. And if it's getting to the point where you feel like you need more serious help than just talking to somebody, then go get that help. There's all these resources around you. There's suicide hotlines, there's counseling, there's medication. There's all these different things that can help you. You just gotta be willing to go get help because nobody's gonna help you unless you bring it to their attention. It's crappy, I know, but it's just how it is. So don't be scared to get help and don't be silenced in fear. When it comes to being a bystander, if you see somebody getting bullied, whether if it's online or at school, do something. Don't worry about the bullies turning on you just because you're helping somebody. Because that might happen. But for all you know, you could be saving somebody's life if you just lend a hand and if you just try to be a friend. As I said, victims just need one person. But be that one person because for all you know, they might not have anybody. And if the bullies turn on you, then you know what? So be it. At least you're helping somebody. What they say isn't going to matter when you graduate. So what they say now shouldn't matter. If they're spreading rumors, as long as you know the truth, that's all that matters. If they say you're ugly, as long as you believe you're not ugly, then then that's all that matters. Don't believe what they think, believe what you think. It's your life, your body, so you believe what you believe about yourself. Don't let others have any influence on your choices and what you believe. Love yourself, don't let them make you hate yourself. You deserve better than that. Honestly, I had a great four years. Yeah, there's ups and downs, so there's always will be, it won't be perfect. But as long as you try to take the steps to make it the best as you can and to be smart about your choices, then it's gonna be a great four years. Just make smart decisions, hang around smart people, don't be a victim, don't be a bystander, and don't be silenced in fear. When it comes down to it, talking about friendships and relationships, peer pressure and bullying are the three most important pieces of advice that anybody can give their high schooler. And that's why I talked about them. If you guys want any more advice related to school, comment down below and let me know. Or if you like my advice and what I had to say, and you want advice about something else, then comment down below and I'll make that video. This channel is based around you guys and what you guys want to see. And if you're a sophomore, junior, or senior, and you have some high school experience under your belt, comment down below some any extra advice or tips that you want to give to people. Come on guys, please comment. It took like 10 seconds, maybe 30 tops. Nobody comments on my videos and I love discussions and I love seeing people help people. So please comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Share with your friends if you want to. And share with your friends if you think that they need to hear this advice. And subscribe if you are new. It only takes one second. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much for the support. And see you guys in the next video.